I know many of you are familiar with the story on the first page of today's report, Adam Capet, a young man who spent four years in solitary confinement while awaiting a trial that still has yet to happen. Adam's story made the news last fall because four years in segregation is shocking in itself. It's almost unimaginable. But what was even more shocking was that the ministry responsible for safeguarding the human rights of the incarcerated did not know about it. As far as the ministry was concerned, he was out of sight and therefore out of mind. Even though it has an oversight structure in place where every single placement of every inmate in segregation is supposed to be reviewed and reported on, the ministry had no idea that Adam had languished in solitary for so long. The ministry's unreliable records at the time showed that he had been in segregation for 50 days when the real total was 1,591 days. But as my report points out, Adam's case, while extreme, is not unique. The ministry has been aware of these problems for years. My office receives thousands of complaints from inmates every year. And we have alerted the ministry to numerous cases where inmates were in segregation too long without the required reviews, and we helped many of these individuals. But the systemic problems remained, and complaints about segregation kept rising. Last spring, the ministry held consultations on segregation, and I made several recommendations to restrict the practice and strengthen oversight. The ministry pledged to do more still, but there was little concrete change.